In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to convert a bitmap image into an Inkscape vector image using Inkscape's trace bitmap function. I'll be using Inkscape version 0.48. And I want to start by having three bitmap images imported. I've already imported two of them, and I'll show you how to import it while I import the third one. I go to the File menu, I select Import, and I select my file and say open. And then this will ask me whether I want to link or embed the image. And I'm going to embed it and then I press the OK button. So now I have this bitmap image imported. Okay now to convert this to a vector image I'm going to first select the image that I want to convert. So I'll select this first one here and then I go up to the path menu and select trace bitmap and then I'm going to select the colors option here I'm going to unselect smooth I'm going to use stack scans and for right now remove background is going to be unchecked and for the number of scans I want to match it with the number of colors that's in my image so I've got this blue, orange, and yellow color, but in the corner here I also have some white. So I'm going to select four scans. You can press the update button to get a preview of what this will look like once it's converted. So I'm going to press the OK button. And now the new vector image is placed right on top of the old bitmap image. And let me just move this to this position right here to show you the corner. This corner here is white and it's actually a white object and so it will cover up anything that's below it. But let's say for instance that I do this conversion. Let me select the bitmap image again and this time I say remove background and I'll press the OK button. So I should have a new vector image on top here now. And if I move this to the side, if you look at its corner right here, you can see that you don't see the white, but it's transparent, and that's because I removed the background. So let me go ahead and select this vector image, and I'm going to get rid of that because I do want the background to be removed. And let me pull this down here. And I'm going to convert these other two just the way I did before with uh, Remove Background selected. So I'll press the OK button and that should generate another vector image right on top of the bitmap. So I can pull that down. And then I'll do the same with this last bitmap image. And I'll pull this one down as well. Now these vector images that I just created are actually groups of objects. There's three objects here, one for each color. So if I want to manipulate them individually, I can go up to the object menu and select ungroup. And I'm going to do that with all three of these. So again, the object menu and select ungroup and then once more object menu and ungroup and now I'm going to pull these apart to show you how they were constructed so I'm going to select the two blue dots here and pull those down and the darker colors are the objects that are going to be on top and the lighter colors are going to be on the bottom so the blue is the darkest so it was on the top orange is next it was below it and yellow is on the bottom so here blue on top pull that down orange below it and again yellow on the bottom and here we have blue on top 
orange below it and finally yellow on the bottom. When I pull these objects apart you should notice that each of these objects contain its own shape plus the shape of the object that was above it. So this was the top object. So this orange one contains its own shape plus it contains the shape of the circles. The yellow contains everything. For this one, again the blue was on top. The orange contains its own shape plus it contains the shape of the two circles that were above it. And then the yellow contains everything. And then here this blue shape was on top. The orange contains its own shape plus the shape of the blue one that was on top of it. And then finally the yellow contains everything on top of that. So this is how these are constructed when you use the stack scans checkbox checked. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these now. And I'm going to convert them all with the stack scans box unchecked. So let me uncheck that. I'm going to select this object and convert it. And I'll pull that down. Select this object and convert it. And pull that down. And select the final object and convert it. And then I'll pull it down. And just like before, I need to ungroup this. I'm going to ungroup all three of these. So now I'm going to pull these apart. So with this method, with stack scans unselected, none of these objects overlap any of the other objects. So this orange object here does not contain the area of these two circles, and the yellow object below it does not contain the area of any of the objects above it. And so you can see that as I pull all three of these apart. One thing to notice, however, when you use this with the stack scans unchecked, and let me show you this by selecting this object here, and I'm going to go ahead and convert this again. So I'll press OK, and I want to drag this over here. If I zoom in on this, you'll notice that there's some white area in between the blue circle and the yellow background. And it's not noticeable when I'm zoomed out with this picture, but with some pictures it's a lot more noticeable. So let me zoom back out and delete this. And I'm going to do the same thing except I'm going to have the stack scans checked and I'm going to do a quick conversion and I'll pull the converted file over here and I'll zoom in on this one I still have the space in between here but what shows through is the object that was below this blue button which was this orange area here so in some cases, even though you have the space here, it's not noticeable because it's not white. So this information is particularly useful if you're converting a photograph. 
So let me demonstrate that for you here real quick. I'm going to give myself some space and I'm going to import another image and this is a bitmap image of a photograph and this is a pretty low resolution photograph if you do higher resolution photographs it can take a long time to convert so with this selected I'm going to do one conversion with stack scans selected and there's a lot more colors in this picture so I'm just going to set the number of scans to 12 and I'm going to press the OK button and now my converted image is placed on top so I'm going to move my image down and then I'm going to select my bitmap image again and uncheck stack scans and press the OK button and now I'll drag my image down so here let me zoom in a little bit and I don't need this dialog box anymore You can see here that I have a lot of white space that shows through in between the objects. Whereas in this picture on the left here, I still have the space in between the objects, but the color isn't white, it just takes on the color of the object that was below it. Both of these methods are good depending upon what you're trying to achieve. For instance, let me draw a rectangle around this. I'm going to press the select button and then move this to the bottom with this button here and now everywhere there was white now red shows through so if I change its color I can get something that looks rather nice so you can experiment with both the stack scans checked and unchecked until you get the effect that you'd like to achieve thanks for watching this video and please subscribe and leave a comment. Have a great day.